So I was having a <clears throat> interesting conversation earlier, and uh, triggered some things within me. And I thought about it, and I sit with this all of the time. That the reason why you feel the way you do about yourself right now you know unless you've elevated yourself from that and you take back control of your mind and your emotions and your will the way you feel about yourself right now today especially if it's low vibrational all of that comes from all of the people who have reinforced the same belief from that one person that made you feel that eons ago, you know? It's like a person implanting or impregnating you with a seed, a seed of shame and or of guilt, right? That one person in your life, whether it's a parent, a grandparent, aunt, a cousin, brother, sister, friend, it doesn't matter if it's your first romantic partner, the person you lost your virginity to that broke your heart, it doesn't matter who it is, but someone planted something in you that you were not born with. None of us were born with a poor self-concept and look at ourselves as if we're not shit. That we're never going to be shit. That comes from external voice. Somebody outside of yourself that made you believe. Proverbially speaking, impregnated you with that seed that made you think something in contrast to yourself. Because that is a belief that we attract what we are that where you're going to continuously attract people, situations, circumstances that are in reflection of that seed that someone else implanted in you, right? So all of these situations are going to reinforce what? Exactly what it is. It is the fruit of that seed, right? So if you had someone who you encountered for the first time that for the first time in your life made you feel like you're not shit you're not worthy of love you will keep meeting people like that and it is not because you know uh, God spirit universe whatever wants you to torture you or life sucks or anything like that it is for you to eradicate that is for you to stand your ground against your own self that how dare you allow another human being with the same brain in their head as you to determine or declare or to speak over your life who and what you are and what you are and aren't capable of and whether you're, if you're desirable or not. Who the fuck are they? So you never allow another human being t to determine your fate. Because who are they in the bigger scheme of things? When you think about your own personal value system. The only reason why you even entertain such an asinine idea is because in some sense or another you value that person and where they stand and in the main question of deliverance one needs to ask themselves is who are they like really and why the hell do you value their opinion us being who we are, priceless beings, aspects of God, how dare we allow specifically low vibrational 
Cretan human beings to determine our own personal value. That's when we make a person an idol. That's when we put a person above God, to be quite honest, because you don't give two shits and a fuck about what it is that spirit thinks of you, what your friends think of you, you know what I'm saying? Or anyone who is actually valuable in your life thinks about you. Instead, you allow concept and self-perception to be tainted by people who really ain't shit, by people who are dealing with the same stuff that you're dealing with. Someone to tell you that you're less than and also does not really love or care about themselves. And that's what you have to sit back and ask yourself, why is it that you feel or value this person's opinion so much? Because the only thing that really matters is what you think of you. And that sounds like one of those, those like old mom, like pick me up kind of quotes, but it's so true. Like what other people think about you is neither here nor there. So unless you decide to make those people your god, but if they're not, then what does it really matter? If a person doesn't like how you look, how you talk, how you dress, how you move in this world, it all comes back to you. If you want things in your life to be different, you have to bring all that stuff in your subconscious that is consistently drawing in these people, situations, and circumstances into your life, into consciousness, for you to ever have a chance to change your experience that is the only way that it can be done there's no way around it and i have been working so hard at this the past few years you cannot stay fucked up in on the inside and think somehow some way that somehow you're going to draw some perfect person in because that's not what you are and nor is anyone perfect no one No one person is going to save you from yourself or prove to you something that you don't already believe about yourself. The only thing people can do is reinforce what you think about yourself. Like, say, um, you know, you think you're great and people tell you, like, hey, you're great. They're just reinforcing what it is that you already do but if on the inside you're feeling that you know I ain't shit I'm worthless and and people are like you ain't shit that nobody wants you no one's ever gonna look at you that's just reinforcing what it is that you already know If your self-concept is strong enough to the point that a person can't tell you some stuff like, you know, and now I'm going to be like, if you don't get the hell out of my face with that foolishness, like, that's when you have a strong self-resolve. And I would say personally why I get so passionate behind this because I have fought back from this my entire life constantly because I also see this every day in a week in a month and god forbid in a year so many people who are carrying burdens on their back me included that these burdens were given to them by other people And they never stopped to think that they were carrying this proverbial cross. But no one is ever stopping to think where this cross came from in the first place. And when we start to deconstruct these things, you start to see that it's really other people's thoughts you're thinking. And these other people really ain't shit in real life oh 
my goodness, like, they are really not shit in real life. Like, these people who are scoundrels, the lowest of the low snakes. And you have amazing, beautiful, gifted, talented people who beat themselves down for people who don't know their asshole from a hole in the ground and have no concept of anything outside of themselves and are literally so lost in their humanness my god that is sad and not to mention shameful so you have to have some self-awareness stop giving your power to other people Stop giving other people so much power. And if you got any sort of emotional response from this the way that I did when I first yelled at myself, put it in the comments.